This is Discover Tech. Today, we dive into the most powerful crushers and shredders ever built. Machines so extreme, they can obliterate cars, trucks, and more in seconds. Years of shop floor experience reveal copper wire's tendency to recoil, resisting the cutting process. The most effective machines secure a firm grip, tightening coils before cutting. Without proper hold, efficiency is lost and downtime increases. Practical experience shows that careful setup and operator patience are critical to productivity. This dual shaft shredder demonstrates high capacity processing for end of life appliances. Washing machines, lighting fixtures, and other mixed materials are rapidly reduced to scrap. The integrated separation system efficiently recovers metals, plastics, and aluminum, channeling them into recycling streams within seconds. The Aljon 20 is a machine that crushes cars. It uses about 200,000 pounds of force to bend roofs, frames, and even engines. It works slowly, but nothing can resist it for long. A used one costs about $28,000, while a new one can be around $150,000. The RSS Rotar demonstrates exceptional hydraulic performance, reducing a full steel girder with ease. Delivering over 250 tons of force per cycle, the unit combines high-speed operation with precise control, showcasing the capabilities of modern hydraulic engineering. The Zat Blue Evil 4000 Twin Shaft Shredder, manufactured in Italy, is designed for heavy-duty vehicle processing. Counter-rotating shafts provide efficient fragmentation, while an integrated magnetic separation unit ensures automatic recovery of ferrous metals, contributing to higher recycling yields and operational efficiency.
In shredding operations, the Zato Blue Devil twin shaft system ensures synchronized torque application. It effectively compresses and tears vehicles, white goods, and mixed ferrous slash non-ferrous scrap into dense recyclable fractions, maximizing material value and throughput efficiency. It's impressive to see how things we once threw away as trash can now be processed so well. The idea of reduce, reuse, recycle becomes very real when machines like this are used. Recycling can actually be fun to watch. The Titan II shreds a 5,980R63, almost like someone snapping candy bars. The loud crunching sound fills the yard, and the waste turns into neat small pieces that can be reused. The Francioi TRF 2116 shredder can run at two speeds, slow 3.5 RPM for very strong steel and faster 7.0 RPM for lighter scrap. It has a big hopper, an automatic reverse system to prevent overload, and a German design that makes it compact and efficient. This JCB excavator, equipped with a rotary screening bucket, demonstrates on-site efficiency. By screening gravel and soil directly, it separates usable aggregate from waste material without requiring transport. The result is reduced fuel consumption, minimized handling, and improved operational productivity. This machine is very important in the scrap business. By tilting once, it can drop out tons of waste like metal, wood, plastic, or rubble. That means no cranes and no extra work. When shredding electronics like keyboards, they can break apart violently, with keys and wires flying out. That's why it's very important for workers to wear safety gear. This is a small machine that crushes scrap metal. You put something in, and the hydraulic press pushes with strong, steady pressure until the metal flattens. It feels a bit scary because you can almost imagine the metal groaning as it's squeezed.
Equipped with a 74 horsepower engine and a 28 inch cutter wheel, the remote controlled stump grinder is engineered for precision root removal, both above and below grade. Its Australian market value averages $166,000, reflecting both durability and advanced technology. The German-made BHS SBR 2 semi-screener uses vibration to sort rubble. Concrete pieces bounce while steel rolls, making recycling both efficient and almost fun to watch. The Yangmong machine does two jobs. First, it squeezes scrap metal into a tight block. Then, it cuts the block with sharp blades. This makes the scrap easier to recycle and handle. The defining feature is versatility. Pallets, chipboard, and various wood residues are processed into uniform dimensions. This step is critical in preparing industrial wood waste for reuse in secondary applications. Engineered in Germany, the Wema 1500 pellet press exerts over 500 kilonewtons of hydraulic compaction force, converting MDF dust into dense, uniform wood pellets. The process ensures maximum energy efficiency while producing a durable product suitable for storage and transport. The Bravo mill feeder helps the shredder by preparing vehicles before they go in. This prevents accidents like fuel tanks exploding and makes the shredding process smoother and safer. It also saves energy and makes the big machine last longer. Equipped with four synchronized shafts, the Q100ED processes waste with exceptional throughput, reinforcing SSI's reputation as a leading shredder manufacturer in the United States.
The MC-8 Crusher holds river stones tightly and uses spinning energy to break them down into small, even pieces. It's powerful, but also very precise, which is why even very strong rocks get crushed so well. The machine functions with aggressive feed mechanics, pulling scrap into the chamber and processing it rapidly. While its efficiency is evident, observers note the constant suspense of potential material blockages under heavy load conditions. This system combines a slow speed and a medium speed unit operating in tandem to convert waste wood into biomass. The process yields P63 grade fuel with uniform particle size, avoiding issues of oversize or excessive fines. An impressive sight, a large-scale Mercedes-Benz diesel engine delivering robust performance and engineering reliability. Whoa, that's a ass cylinder. Tense stuff. <laughs>